In this video, we're going to focus on creating uh, a more dynamic version of our toggle button. So right now we have this button here. And while it's toggling, as you can see, we want to also change the text. As you can see, this needs to work along and communicate more clearly what the button does instead of only a toggle. So we need to have your show or hide or like on, off. That's what we're going to do right now so with this to activate this kind of function we need to use a if fu function in javascript so let's go back here and let's analyze right now what we have all right so we have here right now our this is the function that we're going to build yes and this is our current function here so what's really happening is what we need to add up here in the add text here eventually is this is the id and we want to give this or well not this one sorry we're going to put it in the button so we need to give the toggle button ID some extra functions so let's start here so in here what we're going to do is first of all we're going to add up a new variable and this variable will just say very simple it can be anything doesn't matter let's say yes no text equals and then we just put in basically we can almost copy this one what we really want to do is very simple document dot get element by id and then what we want to do is we want to pinpoint what do we want to pinpoint exactly our toggle button and let's make sure that we have the right button so this is the button we need and this is the toggle button so i'm going to copy this id and just paste it in here all right, so once we did that, we have the first part done. And let's make sure here we have a semicolon. So I just put an enter here. And then now we have two things. Basically, we get this. There is nothing else happening right now. It's only a variable. So what we have to do now is we have to follow along and start to use an if function. And the if function is simple. The if function will just indicate what will happen if. So let's copy this text. You say if variable, which is basically this one here, if, and then we say inner HTML. Yes. And in here, equals. Yeah. And then we're doing a triple equal. So what is the difference? A single equal is basically establishing a variable. Double equal is a soft equal, meaning it doesn't have to be exact. For example, if it's no or no or no it is all identical does not matter but a strict equal means a triple equal is no meaning it must be exact match with capitalized or with space or anything whatever it is that's very important so we'll say here very simple here no or if yes so in this case we say yes if the text equals yes that's the starting point and then we have now our options here all right so what we're going to do here is very simple we will say you can just copy basically here you say if this is the true situation then the variable will be no yes so then you have this one all right and else it is very simple we say else if this is not the case we want this to be shown as yes it's very simple the default will be of course yes so then after that it will switch it will start to analyze no we are putting this else function in here and the reason why it's simple is just to make sure that we we cover it completely to avoid any kind of issues and then we're done here once we did this what we need to do is let's save this you will see it will not work yet oh it already works however we have to do our toggle so we need to just adjust our toggle here first so what what is the text here the toggle is yes let's refresh and now you will see it all works yes no yes no or show height basically we can do it like that let's do it show and then else it's height 
and then here again show and what we do here as well uh, show as well all right so let's refresh and see here what happened so height show height show I guess it's exactly the opposite of what we need to do this is show what's being shown already so that's why however this is really how you can use this to extend this now of course there's a challenge for you and I'm going to give you this challenge I want you to figure out how can we use this exact same method on our toggle button but then for a class what I really want is now not only this but I want like green red green red and if you want to know what's the class for that basically the class is simple we have for green we have button if you're using bootstrap success and else so this is for green and else it's button danger for red so you just have to include this so how do you do that with a toggle so that's my challenge for you to see if you can figure this one out